And on to BHEL, which is uh, the other big stock that we're tracking, which has reported its FY16 provisional numbers. And look at that stock. At 118 rupees, it is up 4% in trade. What are the broad numbers? FY16 provisional loss at 877 crore rupees. FY16 total income at 26,700 crore rupees. I must keep reiterating, these are all provisional. And the provisional order inflow at 43,727 crore rupees, which could, if it plays out, uh, be the highest order book in the last five years. Let's go straight across to Tarang Bhanushali, uh, AVP Research at IIFL. Thank you very much for joining us on NDTV Profit. What do you make of the provisional numbers? Well, uh, the bottom line is pretty much in line with our estimate. The positive out of this result is the strong order inflows the company has reported. Uh, but execution uh, continues to be remain uh, quite subdued, which we have seen over the last three quarters. Okay, so what what is really the good news buried in there? You're going to be watching out for the execution and you're saying it's been subdued in the last three quarters. Uh, uh, so you're expecting it to continue like that in the fourth quarter as well? Well, fourth quarter we were expecting the execution to pick up marginally, but it has not done. In fact, uh, the company said that uh, even first half of FY17, the execution would not pick up uh, the, to the earlier level. So H1 again would be quite uh, weaker. The execution would largely pick up from H2, and that is where strong ear earnings would be seen for the company. So largely H1 would be again a reflection of what we have seen in FY16. Okay, what kind of uh, target price have you set for the stock and uh, what are some of the assumptions behind that? Well, we have an accumulate rating on the stock with a target price of 125. Uh, well, as I said, we expect execution to pick up from H2, FY17 and then again FY18 would be a quite strong quarter for the company. Uh, we estimate EPS of around 3.2 rupees for FY17 and 8.4 for FY18. And what are the biggest risks that you see? Because we're talking about FY17, FY18. Good time as any to revisit the risks uh, to some of those estimates? Well, the risk is largely uh, is uh, slower execution and some of the uh, some of the projects going into litigation or there might be some uh, problem at the customers and uh, some environmental issues. So. So uh, largely these are the, the, the uh, risk which we have already seen would, if they do not pan out, uh, they do not pan out uh, uh, over the next few months, then we would again see execution not picking up and the company's earnings being impacted. You know, competitive pressure, there's no denying. It's quite intense uh, in the past segment in the capital goods market. Uh, BHEL vis-a-vis -vis its peers, your thoughts? Well, VHL has managed to garner around 70 to 75% of the orders in the domestic market and I think it would continue to do so uh, since it is working at very, uh, very low utilization levels so it has to uh, gain orders to run its unit. Uh, margin pressure would continue because of the JD orders. Uh, for the peers, I think the peers are not uh, currently bidding aggressively because uh, even that, uh, the BTG segment is uh, not the only segment for them. They have the players like L and T have other segments too. So we have not seen very high pressure, uh, high competitive bidding from the others. Um, Bail has been largely the, the company which has been under quite pressure over uh, in uh, which has been aggra bidding aggressively over the last one year, and I think they would continue to do so going forward. But, you know, it's been bidding aggressively, which begs the next question, which is what is the uh, picture as far as debtors is concerned and collection from debtors? You analyze this stock closely. Well, uh, I think the orders right now are largely from PSU players and so there might not be any major problem on that side. But yes, uh, the, the debtor uh, has been, uh, the uh, write-off of debtors has been a concern for most of the players. And that is why we have seen a sharp correction over the last few months. I think that there would be some more uh, writing off of data uh, in uh, in uh, Q1 and then maybe uh, H, H2 would be a good phase for the company. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Tharang, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, the BHEL stock, as we mentioned, is up pretty smartly. And why? Well, perhaps because the provisional order inflow numbers come in at 43,727 crore rupees. Uh, that explains why the stock is up 4.5%. We're talking about the FY16 
provisional numbers. But as Tarang Bhanushali of uh, IFL cautioned, he said execution has been, uh, you know, patchy. It's been subdued in the first three quarters of the year for BHEL. So while in the fourth quarter, you can expect a little bit of a pickup as far as execution goes. Execution remains key for the future prospects of BHEL. 119 rupees right now. Away from uh, individual corporate news and stock analysis, on to the larger picture, and I'm very pleased to welcome today Lord Nicholas Stern, IG Patel Chair Professor of Economics and Government.